Hi friends, today we'll look at how to set up password policy in a Red Hat Enterprise Linux system for increased security. I'll be using a Rocky Linux 8.5 as a VM, which is the same as Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.5. I'll be using my Windows 11 Pro host machine with Hyper-V and Vagrant to demonstrate this, which I've covered in a previous video. By using the command pwscore, we can check the score of any password. From the command line, enter pwscore, hit return, and then enter a password to get a score based on your current password policy. By default, a minimum password policy is already applied but we'll change this. Open the following file using your text editor like Vim or Nano. If you're new to Vim, then watch my video on the subject. Just make sure to open the file as sudo. As you can see, all the lines are commented out, but the default values are already applied and each option has an explanation right above it to understand what it does. In order to change any of these password policy options, you'll need to remove the pound symbol to uncomment the line and then apply the value you want. Each option has a number as a value. If the number is zero, then the option for that password policy is disabled. A posi positive number enables the option and which values you can enter for each option is different per option. For example, if you enable min len to set the minimum length of characters in a password, then it cannot be lower than six characters. Diff OK are the number of characters on the new password that cannot be the same as the old password. For example, if diff OK is set to 1, then at least one of the characters must be changed in the new password, and the rest can remain the same. It's best to not uh, increase this value too much because of the complexity, especially when combined with how often users need to change the password. The credits options help to decrease the length of the password in exchange for complexity by combining digits, lowercase, uppercase, and special characters. If the minimum length is set to 10 and all four credit options are set to one, the minimum, then the minimum length of the password is reduced to six characters. If you want to keep the 10 characters as minimum, even with complexity, then you'll need to use minus one as value for credits. For example, setting the decredit value to minus two means that minimum of two digits must be used in the password, while the minimum length remains the same. While using negative values for the credits options are used to enforce amount of characters, you can also use min class to say how many classes are required in a password. Digits, lowercase, uppercase, and special characters are each one class. So setting min class to four means the user must use at least one character of all four types in their password. Max repeat is to limit amount of repeated characters right after each other. If this is set to a value of two, then two consecutive of the same characters are allowed. Root and sudo users are normally excluded from password policy unless you have enabled the option for enforce for root. Now let's change a few of the values and then run PW score again to check whether the new password policy is applied. Test this by playing with password length and different classes. 
Here is a multiple choice question to test what you have learned in this video. Assuming the password policy is set like this, which one of these passwords is allowed? Leave your answer in the comments and I'll share the answer in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this video about password policy in Rocky Linux and I'll see you in the next video.